Elon Musk, the brilliant billionaire and CEO of Tesla Motors, has unveiled a new engine for the company's future EVs. Tesla is renowned for its cutting-edge designs and elite EVs. It is well known to fundamentally alter how we currently view electric automobiles. Elon Musk discussed Tesla's latest electric motor, the plaid carbon-wrapped motor, and even hinted at a crazier, higher RPM version coming to the next Roadster. How quickly will this engine operate? What distinguishes it from the motors already employed in EVs? How will it decimate the EV market? Tesla Incorporated is an American maker of solar panels, electric cars, and batteries for homes and cars. After making a $6.5 million investment in February 2004, Elon Musk rose to the position of top stakeholder. Since 2008, he has served as the CEO. Tesla's goal, according to Musk, is to hasten the transition to sustainable energy and transportation by using solar energy and electric automobiles. Due to Elon Musk's statements and action, as well as claims of creative accounting, whistleblower retaliation, worker rights violations, and unresolved and potentially dangerous technical issues with their products, Tesla has been the target of numerous lawsuits, increased government scrutiny, journalistic criticism, and public controversies. Despite of all this stench, Tesla has consistently kept its head by unveiling new innovations and technologies through its goods, whether they be sophisticated EVs, solar panels, or batteries. The achievements Tesla has today are thanks to Elon Musk. Musk this time introduced a new electric motor following the groundbreaking introduction of AI bot Neuralink, a Python. The electric vehicle market is about to undergo a complete revolution thanks to this patchwork motor. Further details regarding the new powertrain technology developed by Tesla under its Palladium program for the updated version of the electric sedan was one thing everyone was anxiously awaiting during the new Model S unveiling at the delivery event. Surprisingly, the CEO didn't research the new technology extensively. For instance, he made no further mention of the brand new battery pack other than that. He did disclose some specifics of Tesla's new plaid carbon-wrapped motor and unveil it. Tesla is able to produce smaller, more potent, and more efficient motors than ever before because to the plaid motor, which is built on cutting-edge technology, it is light enough for one person to carry, yet it has a ton of power and torque. It has the capacity to attain irrational RPMs. Musk briefly remarked during the presentation that Tesla's new machine is the sole thing that makes this new motor conceivable. The CEO explained the new gadget in a series of tweets. Tesla Automation created the machine to do this. The carbon sleeve must compress the copper rotor, or it will become loose at low temperatures, owing to differential thermal expansion. The exact distance to the stator can be maintained by using preload. Musk went on to elaborate on the benefits of the new motor over the old one. The main benefit of this is a significantly stronger EM field than a rotor held together by metal, often high-strength steel. The new carbon-wrapped rotor allows Tesla to push the performance of its new motors to new heights and crush the market for other motors, and thus crushing the entire market with its better and enhanced EVs. Another advantage is that rotor can go to higher RPM as carbon sleeve mostly stops copper rotor from expanding due to radial acceleration. In a subsequent round of tweets, Musk asserted that Tesla's new rotor is perhaps the most sophisticated one in existence, but he also hinted that the company was developing an even more potent motor for the upcoming Roadster. Outside of perhaps a lap somewhere, the plaid carbon-wrapped motor is likely the most advanced engine on Earth. Certain things must remain a secret. For the new Roadster, we have a few ideas to boost torque and maximum RPM even further. There is undoubtedly joy and excitement in engineering. Previously, Musk explained how Tesla could improve performance by adopting the same tri-motor drivetrain used in the current Model S for the new Roadster. Considering only the reduced form factor, it suddenly seems like Tesla might also be advancing the powertrain technology. Tesla is anticipated to have fresh technical prototypes for the new electric hypercar this summer. According to Elon, the carbon-wrapped motor in the Plaid is the most sophisticated motor outside of a laboratory, and they have some ideas for improving torque and max RPM for the next Roadster. The copper rotor must be compressed by the carbon sleeve in order to prevent loosening at low temperatures. Differential thermal expansion is the cause of this. The new motor's key benefit is that its carbon sleeve rotor produces a stronger electromagnetic field than the one held by metal. Elon noted that high-strength steel is often used to make these. Because the carbon sleeve stops the copper rotor from expanding as a result of rapid acceleration, the rotor can be run at higher RPMs. With Plaid, Elon Musk, I believe we've really raised the bar. The world's quickest production automobile was produced by Tesla when it invented the new carbon-wrap motors. 
It is fast, reaching 60 miles per hour in just 1.99 seconds, but both exciting and intense. Tesla has made it plain that with this new device and those Tesla secrets, it wants to break its own records. The Tesla Model S Plaid's record acceleration will soon be surpassed, and the chances of that happening with another Tesla vehicle, the Roadster 2.0, are quite likely. How does this motor with the checkered carbon wrap operate? Contrary to popular opinion, high-speed machinery like compressors and turbochargers have traditionally employed carbon fiber wrappings. Typically, these are surface PM motors. A permanent magnet is attached to the rotor's core outside. To stop the magnet from flying away at high speeds, the entire rotor is enclosed in a cylinder with thin walls made of a suitable material. Rarely is there a single best product in the automotive industry. Rotor sleeves and solutions are two examples. The older option is a non-magnetic metal sleeve made of titanium or aluminum. This approach provides a number of benefits. The thermal expansion properties of a metal sleeve are extremely similar to those of the remainder of the rotor, and it is quite robust. The fact that metals make excellent electrical conductors is the biggest drawback. As a result, the sleeve experiences strong eddy current generation. These eddies cause losses, lower efficiency, and possibly most significantly, can make rotor heat management more challenging. Almost little eddy losses occur in composites because they are relatively poor conductors, at least perpendicular to the fibers or transversely. Despite the fact that they do not grow, they are particularly harmful in terms of thermal expansion. The carbon fiber sleeve stretches when the rotor thermally expands, and since carbon fiber is rigid, as we scientists engineers claim that this extension places significant loads on it. At the same time, the sleeve's function must be maintained even when the rotor is chilled. Specifically, it must compress the rotor at full speed plus a margin in order to deliver adequate pressure to the magnets to keep them attached to the rotor. That is, it must maintain a net radio force while canceling the centrifugal stresses caused by the magnet mass and its own mass. This suggests that it will pre-stress or apply additional force when the engine is at a stop. The sleeve needs to have the right size overall to bear its own pre-stress, the centrifugal forces at top speed, and the additional forces from thermal expansion. Bridges are frequently needed for mechanical stability and give some unneeded leakage flux a simple way to flow. The fiber sleeve used by the plaid motor to retain the rotor in position eliminates the bridges. By removing that leaky flux channel, this course enables the rotor to spin at greater RPMs. On the basis of a performance model, Tesla is anticipated to deploy three 250 kilowatt motors, two in the back and one in the front. The two motors in the back allow for torque vectoring. Like the Model 3, only one motor is needed for commonality. This motor is really powerful. The most astounding characteristics are a high red line and a flat power curve. The output of earlier Tesla motors peaked and then began to fall. The new Plaid can pull strongly at 200 miles per hour up to the 23,308 red line with this power curve. The new carbon fiber motor that will be utilized in the Tesla Model S Plaid has been the buzz of the town. It is reportedly the first production electric motor to have a carbon over wrap rotor and has been hailed as innovative, revolutionary, and the most sophisticated motor in the world. The new motor seems to be the industry watchword for EVs.